Welcome to Studio Biology. In this video, I am going to discuss the differences between a shoot apex and a root apex. First of all, position. It is truly terminal. This is shoot apex, it is terminal. But this is the root apex which is actually subterminal because root cap is terminal, not the root apex. Then a structure. Comparatively, it is longer, greater than 1 cm usually, it is lesser than 1 cm. The appearance is dome shaped and it is covered by juvenile leaves. Here it is cup shaped and protected by the root cap. It is cup shaped. Now quescent center is absent. Here you can observe the quescent center. New cells are added from the base. New cells are added from here. Here new cells are added from the base and apex both. Nodes and internodes are present. Here we can observe these are the nodes, internodes. But here nodes and internodes are absent. Next, branches develop exogenously from the axle of leaves in the region of apex in case of shoot apex. But here the branches develop endogenously. This is a difference far behind the root apex. Next is organization of shoot apex can be explained on the basis of tunica corpus theory. The upper layer is tunica and the mass of the cell is corpus. While here the organization of root apex can be explained on the basis of histogen concept which we have already discussed in the previous videos. Now next one is function. Uh, the shoot apex give rise to lateral appendages while the root apex doesn't give rise to any lateral appendage. Shoot apex change its activity uh, during reproductive phase because it may develop into flowers and the floral axis but here the root apex doesn't show any change in activity in any season. It remains constant throughout. So this is all about the differences between a shoot apex and root apex. Thanks for watching this video.